welcome back to my channel. I love that I'm carrying my ukulele like a baby. As you can see, I have some eyeshadow on because I was on FaceTime with my friend Tammy and we were just like doing makeup together. It was so fun. So I was like, wait, now that I have my makeup on anyway, I'm gonna use this opportunity to film. So I posted my soon you'll get better ukulele cover a few weeks ago and some of you requested a tutorial. This song is obviously really good for just like where our world is right now and if you guys have the resources i have some links in the down bar to donate to some really awesome charities and organizations if you have the resources the song is so heartfelt and i had trouble listening to it the first time i was listening to the whole album lover i just like could not listen to this song after the first time i heard it because i was like it's too sad like i'm not gonna listen to it also guys if you do a cover of this please 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 let me know dm me on instagram if you put it on youtube like comment down the link to your cover i will hype you up i always say i'm the best hype woman and i will hype you up i'll repost you on my story whatever you want me to do baby i'll do it okay so the chords you'll need to know are c a minor g s f minor this is an odd one it is your index finger on the first fret of the g string your middle finger on the first fret of the E string, your pinky finger, or you can use your third finger as well, on the third fret of the A string, and D minor. So in the beginning of the song, the guitar goes like, plucking the two middle strings, and then I'm going to pluck the G string with my thumb. And then you're going to put your ring finger on the third fret of the A string, so it's like a C chord. And then you're going to slide this finger up to the fifth fret. And then you're just going to let that note ring. And then you're going to pluck it again. And then you're going to put it down back to the C position and pluck it again. So it's... And then you're going to use your middle finger to go on the second fret of the A string. And then back to the third fret of the A string. And then back to the second fret. And then back to the third fret, and then fifth fret, seventh fret. So it's. And that is the intro. It takes practice, definitely. For me, I had to do it like so many times before I could actually get it. So the chord progression for the verse goes C. for the verse. It's very simple. It's just a bunch of downs. The buttons of my coat were tangled in my hair. In doctor's office late. I didn't tell you I was scared. That was the first time we were there. Holy. And then once we get to the holy orange bottles, I like to quicken it up a little bit. So I just do a bunch of little down strums like this. like for this case so now i pray to jesus too i do a different string pattern just like end it which is down down up down up down down up down up so now i pray to jesus too and i say to you the chord progression for the chorus is a little bit different it goes c g f g a minor g F, C. 
And honestly, for swimming pattern of the cords, what I find works best for me because I honestly just did it differently every time I played the song. So what we're gonna do is just play mix and match with down strums. That's what I find just sounds the best and is easier just, just to do down strums and to do whatever rhythm you find works best for you. I think the one most similar to the one that I did in my cover is probably down. because you have to just on one single down strum to end the chorus there's really no structure to it because it's just all down so like you just strum when you feel like there's so much you can do with single down strums you can honestly just make it super simple or complicated it doesn't matter i think it would sound good either way it's just down strums and then after the chorus there's going to be an interlude this sounds so pretty i'm pretty proud of myself for figuring this out i'm not gonna lie because you have to It's exactly that, except we're going to shorten it down to just this part. So again, we're going to play the tonal strings and the G string. And then we're going to play the C chord, but instead of just plucking the A string, we're going to pluck all four strings. So it's... Then to the fifth fret, and you're going to play this down twice on the fifth fret. Then back down to the third fret, just one strum. Then your middle finger on the second fret, just one strum, and then your ring finger back on the third fret to play the C. And then instantly you're going to transition to the G chord, and you're going to play down, 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 A minor, down, 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 G again, and then F. string, one down strum on C, two down strums on the fifth fret, another down strum on the C, another down strum on the second fret, back to C, and then instantly to G, and you're going to do the down, 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 A minor. on this quick down strum pattern all throughout the verses as well so it's the same verse chord progression that we already learned but just the which also is super pretty. I think finger picking for the bridge is the best thing to do because it's so gentle. Chord progression for the bridge is D minor, G, C, G, A minor, C, F, F minor. If this is one, two, three, four, it goes one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, one, two, three, like a really basic strumming pattern that you can do for almost any song and I feel like it would go well. And I hate to make this all about me But who am I supposed to talk to? What am I supposed to do? If there's no you And I just end that again on a down strum. Then you go through a verse and two other choruses, but we already learned that, so I'm not going to repeat that. And then you can end the song on the interlude. So, 
Cause you have to like getting slower as you play. I feel like that's a really good method. So for example, let the world know that your cover is up by commenting down below with your link and if you post on instagram or twitter i have my social media links in the description below let me know about other covers tutorials or just videos in general you'd like me to make and i will make them um on top of ukulele music videos that i do i do a lot of college videos i love talking about college and education high school lifestyle videos and fashion videos so whatever also, I just want to dedicate this video to Anna Rowe. She commented on my cover saying that her best friend died recently because of a chronic illness and she wants to play this song in her memory and that was one of the most beautiful comments and one of the most beautiful uses of this song is to remember someone by it and I really hope that you're healing okay and I'm sending so much love and prayers. Let me know what other covers and tutorials you would like me to make and I will make them. All right, see you guys next time for another video. Bye.